Hi, welcome everybody, and welcome back if you're new to my channel. Chris here. So today I went to see my doctor at the weight loss clinic, and I was really excited about my appointment, and I saw the nutritionist as well. And so that was really exciting to be able to talk to them and pick their brains. And I've been watching a lot of videos and reading a lot of information about the weight loss surgery. And it was exciting to actually go to the appointment and hear it right from the horse's mouth. Um, so I wanted to give you my stats. I had really good blood pressure, my BMI, I was shocked. It's 42.59, so very morbidly obese. Uh, my weight is 267.14 14 ounces and um, 0.4 ounces. Um, and um, my height shrunk, so um, I'm now 5'6", so I was 5'8", so, but they didn't even measure me, so I think they just took it off of another chart. Um, but everything is going good there. Reading that off the chart here. Um, the doctor talked to me. I learned a whole bunch of new stuff that I've never heard on a video. I've never read or anything like that. Uh, and I thought I would share it here. Um, what he was telling me is that I thought that stomachs um, are different sizes. And he said, even in a 600-pound person versus a 120-pound person, he couldn't, he wouldn't be able, if you laid him out on a table, he wouldn't be able to tell the difference in the stomach sizes. Because um, if you laid him out, they'd all be the same size, contrary to um, the norm belief, stomachs don't uh, stretch out or shrink. They're all the same size. And I was shocked by that. So, um, after you have your surgery, you cannot expand your stomach. It will, will move like a muscle. It will expand and stretch like a muscle, but it will not um, lose its elasticity and stretch out. And, um, like your waist would when you have an apron, um, scan around you or things like that. So I was a little shocked by that. And, um, so that was interesting to learn. And he was telling me that, um, weight loss surgery, we all know is a tool. And I knew that, um, but in his clinic, what he does is he gives you three months before they even talk about surgery. They give you three months to lose weight. There's no set number on how much weight you lose. You just have to lose weight. Um, and he said he gave me um, a patient who lost 12 pounds and they did surgery. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, all I have to lose is 12 pounds in three months. So all you got to do is show effort over each month that you're steadily losing the weight. And so I can do that. And he said, because if you can't show that you're steadily losing weight, then later you're not going to have in good practice that your eating habits are going to be able to be under control. You need to put those eating habits starting to lose weight under control now and drinking the water um you know eating right 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 now and like i said i did meet with a nutritionist and she did give me um a whole bunch of um pamphlets and um stuff to 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 eat and not to eat so that was good, and I asked about portion sizes and everything, and she said, there are no portion sizes. Eat till you're full. And I was shocked about that, too. And so, so I thought, okay, you have to eat, like, they say, your hand and this and that. And she never said any of that. 
Um, so, uh, but it was interesting that all I have to do is lose some weight and this could be successful, but it's a three month process and then they start talking about surgery with you and then they go into the liquid diet and then so three months and then they do the two weeks I think of the liquid diet and then they schedule you for surgery so they don't even talk about surgery right now because they don't want to get ahead of you know put the apples before the cart kind of a thing so because I try to talk about surgery, and he's like, well, let's talk about this first. Let's see if you're successful with this, and then we'll talk about surgery. So, um, so, and he said that there are these um, chemicals in your brain. There's about 15 to 20 different chemicals in your brain that when they do surgery, it turns off these chemicals in your brain, which I've never heard from, of, from any other video or any other thing I've read or any other doctor that I've seen on, on YouTube or anything like that, but that turns them off for t about two years. Um, that these chemicals, so let's just say you're at 250 pounds. He used a number, he said, let's just say 250. You're at 250, even though that's not the number I'm at. Let's just say you're at 250. Your body will keep you at wanting to stay at 250 because the, that is where it, those chemicals will want to keep you at, to keep you alive. It's used to keeping you there, and it will work hard to keep you at 250. And you know this. If you lose 10 pounds, you gain it back. You lose 10 pounds, you gain it back. It's a yo-yo. And um, I said, yeah, I know that because I lose 10 pounds, I gain it back. I lose 10 pounds, I gain it back. And... Um, he said, but if you lose 10 pounds with this, um, he says, and then, like, if you lose the the 12 pounds with surgery, it's more like 20 pounds. That's going to be successful. And then it's going to be 30 pounds. It's going to be 40 pounds. It's going to be 50 pounds. It's going to be 60 pounds. It's going to be more successful because all those um, chemicals are turned off for two years in your brain. That's the average two years in your brain. And so that is why surgery is successful because surgery in, itse in itself is not the, the do all be all going to make you lose weight. It's the turning off of the chemicals that's going to make you help you not make you lose weight with the with the diet it will help you lose weight so i never heard that before and i thought that was pretty fascinating and i wanted to share that with you guys so there you have it so i'm looking forward to this and i know i can do this and i want you guys to hold me accountable i need your tips I need um, recipes, and um, I can't do a lot. I have a bad back. I just got a bike trainer, which is where you put it on the back wheel of your bike tire. Um, I can take a picture and, and insert it here. Um, but um, you can ride your bike inside your house, and then... Um, you can exercise that way because I can sit and do exercises and then I can do chair yoga, I found. So those work for me. And then uh, the nutritionist said drinking um, at least 64 ounces of water a day is is good. If you can do um, double that, it's even better. But I don't know if I can drink a gallon of water a day, but at least 64 is good. So half a gallon a day. Um, I'm used to doing that, so that's good. Um, 
and that's going to be very helpful because after your surgery, you're not able to get that much water in you at all because of how tiny uh, your stomach is. It's, uh, um, I verified with him it's about the size of a banana. Um, depending on which surgery you go with. And he recommended to me the gastric sleeve surgery. Um, cause there was the other one, which I forget, I forget what it's called, but where they take, it's like a little pocket, and then they attach your um, uh, what's it called? Where they attach your um The line that goes down to, I'm just going to cut this out anyway, don't even go there. But he suggested the gastric sleeve for me, that would be best. Um, and because I have about uh, 100 pounds to lose, so, or a little bit more, because I would like to be around 145, and so... Being, I'm at 267, so I have about 120 pounds to lose. That seems like such a big number, such a mountain to climb, but I absolutely know that I can do this, and it is, um, it's a doable goal with this tool, with the surgery. So I'm excited for it, and I'm looking forward to doing it. And I'm going to keep you all updated. I have a, another appointment next month, and I'll be doing a weigh-in. And I'm going to take a picture of the scale um, when I step on it so I can show you guys um, my success. And uh, I'll be excited to do that. And if they let me, I will... Um, talk with the doctor. If you have any questions that I can ask the doctor, put them down in the comments below and I will ask the doctor and um, then we can get those answered. Um, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it um, with your friends that are wanting to get the gastric sleeve surgery. And um, I hope you follow along in this journey with me, and like I said, please help sh um, please help me with this and help keep me accountable because I need you to help me because I'm just one person and I need some accountability. So will you help me do that? I would appreciate that. So I'm going to sign off for now, but I sure uh, appreciate you watching until the end of my video, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye for now.